Hey, I just wanted to give you guys and share my experience in reading uh, Brian's new book titled The Entrepreneur Evangelist. Um, first of all, what a crazy story. What a crazy life uh, to basically go from being dead literally to where he's at now. And one of the things that really captured my my ears and, and honestly my heart the most was the connection between uh, his some of his, his past and the connections that he had with his dad, his father, and kind of his, his relationship with his family and, and not only jumping through physical hurdles, um, you know, of course, of back, practically being, you know, raised from the dead, but also just the emotional and the spiritual journey of his, his life. Um, to be honest, it relates a lot to me. Um, I feel in my entrepreneurship journey, um, it's, it's literally been some kind of crazy orchestrated chaos that I've gone through. Uh, everything from spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, um, you know, starting a business, being an entrepreneur is, is already difficult. But uh, what I love about Brian's story and what I love that he that he kind of shares and opens up his heart about is that he's really showing us um, a way that you can really follow God. And, and no matter even the mistakes you make along the way, I mean, one of the one of the things that actually, again, personally spoke to me was just his his um, his notion that he knew he was hearing from God. He knew he wanted to dive into an amazing college, for instance, uh, early on in his life. And he wanted to learn more and kind of be more connected and I guess be a little bit more disciplined and, and really diving into God's word and learning about who God is. Um, but also just, I, I loved how it wasn't perfect, right? I mean, it was like, you try one school and then, and then he went to another school. And, and I feel like that really resonated with me in my life because I know that I've heard God's voice before, but then it's kind of like, do you, do you, you know, how do you stay on track? How do you continue to, to hear God's voice and continue to persevere? And, and I like how he ends the book as well, where he's basically saying, you know, uh, we first got to understand, we, we have to have a revelation of not only who God is in our life, but a revelation about what our purpose and, and our destiny is. And then we have to act on that, right? And um, it's a continual struggle and a journey when you're uh, an entrepreneur, but also, again, just uh, having a, an amazing relationship and a personal relationship with God. And I think Brian really uh, put it together well and, and kind of through his story, um, connecting us all with, with the struggles that we have with our family, with our businesses, with our finances, with our, with, you know, with our, our careers, as we kind of, you know, jump into some of these things head on and we get excited, but then, you know, again, sometimes we, we feel like we make a turn, but um, I, I just, again, I love Brian's story and it resonates with me a lot where you just, again, you kind of feel like you take one turn and even though you feel like you took the wrong turn, it's like God uses that wrong turn, quote unquote, to, to put you in the place that you want to go and, and where you should be. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to read the book, I highly recommend getting the book. Um, it's, it's an amazing story. Um, and, and what I love about Brian personally, um, I had the honor and privilege of getting to know him and working with him. Um, such high integrity. If I would sum up who he is in, in one word for me, it's integrity. I feel like uh, he has a huge heart and, and a lot of integrity. Uh, he obviously really knows what he's doing. You know, like he says in the book, the wisdom that he has in his marketing and, and his strategy and, and the way that he's grown his businesses has been directly from heaven. It's been directly a word from God. And uh, me as a, as a believer, whether you're a believer or not, but me as a believer, um, there's probably nobody I would trust more than, than someone saying that, right? And what I've known to become of Brian in the little time that we've been working together has been that literally he really believes that and he lives that way. Um, and I think because he's had his experiences in the past of, of almost passing away, it's, it's given him a new life and a new angle on that there's no time wasted. And, uh, and so anyway, pick up the book, make sure you get the book. Uh, it's an amazing book. It's an amazing read. And again, I think it's just going to inspire you to continue to help you on your journey. Um, and what I love about the title of the book, I, I don't know if he intended it to be this way, but I feel like all of us can be entrepreneur evangelists, right? I mean, our, our work and what we do and, and the way that God created us and what we're called to do is always tied around building God's kingdom and evangelizing and spreading the gospel. So uh, again, great read, pick up the book, make sure you guys pick up the book. And uh, thank you, Brian, again, for writing it and putting your story uh, out there for all of us to read, man. We, we love you. And again, uh, thank you so much for sharing it.